I need a solenoid. Do you have a three-fold solenoid, sir, or four-fold solenoid? Oh, well, uh, I don't know. Does yours look like this with three, one, two, three, or does it look like this with one, two, three, four? Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, what's the difference? Well, the difference is one's got three and one's got four. But I'll explain the difference. A solenoid is nothing but a switch, a big heavy-duty switch. When you put 12 volts to this, it makes these connect together. And when you got a four pulse, usually this is for a safety circuit. This one's self-grounding. That means it grounds through the frame. This one, this goes to ground or to a safety circuit. And this is the 12 volts that feeds the switch that makes the connection, that makes the mower start. So what you need to do, sir, is go home and figure out what solenoid you need and then come on back, okay? All right. All right, I'm going to show y'all how to bench test a solenoid. In case you think your solenoid's bad and you want to test it. You need a battery and a meter sent to continuity or a continuity tester. A couple of alligator clips. Hi, Carol. It's me, Mr. Alligator Clip. That's right, boy. I'm going to stick you right on there on the negative. I'm going to put, put me on positive, Carol. Yeah, I'm going to put you on positive. There you go. So the three post is grounded. So you put one to ground, and you hook up your meter, your continuity. Hear that beeping? That means we're getting a connection. Hook one to each side of here. Now, when I touch Mr. Alligator Clip to here, this is going to make a connection. That's going to beep. That's going to tell you it's good. So here, here we go. See, that's good. It's working. See. So every time you turn the key switch, it sends 12 volts to this, which makes it click, which makes your engine start. Now on the four post, we're going to do the same thing. The only difference is. We're going to take the negative and hook it to either one, don't matter. And we're going to hook the other one to the other side and we should get the same result. See? Here, vaping. Vape, 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 vape. Here, vape, vape, vape. Solenoid's good. So then you need to go and check further in your electrical system, find out what's wrong, and we're going to cover that a little bit over there on that tractor. We're going to show you how to test solenoid right here in this here tractor because this tractor has a problem and I'm going to show you how I'm going to diagnose the problem with it. Now we got fresh battery in here and it's tight. Got to make sure all connections are tight. Now we got us a four post solenoid in here. Can you zoom in on that there, Bell, buddy, fella? Can you see that there four poster? See, there's a post there and a post there and then here's our two. This is coming right from the battery, going right to the starter. Now we got Mr. Test Light here. We're going to use this as a little 12-volt test light. See, little Mr. Test Light. Hi, Carol. Hi, it's me, Mr. Test Light. Hi, Mr. Test Light. Now I'm going to take him and put him on the negative. Now you can put it anywhere on ground, but I like to go right to the battery. Now, when I touch this probe, on any one of these posts going to the solenoid, it should light up when I turn the key. Now, if I touch it the other one, it don't light up. That means that ain't 12 volt. That's the ground. See what? See? It's crank. Once crank, what well, ain't lighting up. When I touch it the other one, it lights up. So we know we're getting juice from the switch to the solenoid, and it's actually jumping this. With a fresh battery, hear that thing? Man, it don't want to crank for nothing. Now, we take this test light here and stick them right on the post of the starter. See? See, it's lighting up. We're getting juice there. So the problem with this tractor is this starter is junk. We got to take that off of there and put a new one on. This thing's junk. So there, that might help you in troubleshooting uh, a solenoid or electrical problem on your tractor. So once again, there's your dinner.